last night we decoupaged this buffet and we're gonna put the link right there so you can watch it and today we're gonna take it from kindergarten decoupage hopefully to some farmhouse awesomeness we'll see I'm gonna put my mask on and I'm gonna use my DeWalt orbital sander with 220 sandpaper on it. I'm gonna sand all around the edges, make them nice and smooth so that way the drawers and the doors will glide well. I'm also gonna go over the top so I can distress these edges and kind of blur the line so it doesn't look like a straight cut line the way it is now. And maybe sand a little bit through the paper so that way it just looks aged and worn. You can see the bottom paper is really bright and vibrant, which is great if that's, a, if that's the look you're going for, but I want like a chippy aged look. So distressing it smooths out where you can't feel a ridge between the paper and the paint. It also gives it a really nice aged effect. And when I add the white wax on top of this, it's gonna turn it into kind of a boho farmhouse vibe, which is exactly what I'm going for. So I wasn't sure what finishes I was going to do on this and I went to social media and everybody said golden ticket with white wax. And so we have to do the golden ticket first because you don't really want to put any kind of liquid sealer or top coat over the top of wax because it's a wax resist. And liquid patina is also a, this golden ticket is also a sealer. So Zeb's going to hopefully, I'm making him do it because I'm a little nervous. <laughs> So this is essentially the same thing as the liquid patina. It's just got gold metallic pigment in it. So I'm just going to hit the edges and all the detail stuff. Don't mess it up. It's kind of translucent. So if you were to just paint it, you wouldn't really see the gold. Okay, so I don't want brush strokes. So Zeb's brushing it and I'm coming back through before it dries, which it dries pretty quickly. And I'm blurring all these lines. Just a little bit. You're, you're a little gold heavy. It's going to be blinging. That's all right. We'll, we'll sand it again just a little bit. We'll hit it. No, I think this is doing pretty good. You're liking that? I'm trying to offload as much as I can, but it, it covers pretty well. Yeah, we like just you want could a little do, shimmer. You could do full coverage golden ticket if you wanted. Yeah, you have to paint underneath it because it's kind of translucent. Just barely lightly, yeah, it's good. I feel like we're getting a little heavy. So I already white waxed this, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this next drawer. And really what we're trying to do is just keep adding layers. And you can see every time, like when we sanded it, it kind of blurred the lines a little bit. We added the, gold, the golden ticket and that blurred the lines. And then adding the white wax just kind of blurs it a little bit more and really softens the look and makes it not look so harsh. So I'm just using the DIY white wax. It doesn't take very much. And I'm not using this really to seal it with, it's more decorative. We'll come back with clear wax when we're done. And I'm just going right over the top of the golden ticket and the paper, and I'm just lightening it all up. And I'm not gonna wait like half an hour to buff it off. I'm gonna buff it off right away. So that way you can still get some of the colors through it. So if you wanna come back and... Yep. Zeb's kind of following me. It's kind of nice when you can tag team because then one person can be working on one part of it while the other one's working on the other. And we haven't really waited for the golden ticket to dry either and no. we just put it on. Yeah, it just kind of blurs it a little bit. If you want it to be more segmented and more like separated, then you would wait longer. The cool thing I like, like look at that. The, mm -hmm. Like in all the crackle, you're gonna get white, which is gonna look amazing. So not quite done yet. We still have some buffing to do on there, but you can see the difference between the section we've white waxed and the section we haven't. 
you can still see the golden ticket underneath there but it's really kind of lightened it up. It's not as harsh and the brush strokes are mostly gone. Well, and when we buff it, the metallic will sparkle through. Just subtle. This hardware over here is already white waxed and this hardware is not. So it's got the same milk paint that's on the base and I'm just coming through and adding a little wax and then pulling it off the high points with my rag here. And then we're done. Ta -da! Make sure you go watch the video from last night in our live video where we did the decoupage. We used wrapping paper from Hallmark to do the decoupage on there and I did a bang up job on that, I'm not going to lie, but it turned out good anyway. Well, I feel like if we wanted it to be perfect and we weren't distressing, then we would have needed to be more particular. Yeah. But since we were distressing and layering it all kind of... You know, measuring, good. getting the straight edge out. Hey, nobody like got time for that. Things like that. <laughs> If you'd like to achieve this look, here's the product list. We used Sweet Pickens Milk Paint in Patina. I added a splash of extra bond because I wasn't sure what was on the paint surface below. And we happened to get a ton of great crackle. We'll put some really good close-ups for you. After that, we used the liquid patina to adhere the wrapping paper onto the piece. Then we came back this morning and we put on the golden ticket and then we used the DIY white wax and you, what you didn't see is that to seal it all, we did clear wax. I'll have Zeb pop in the link to that video. It's got lots of great information on how to use clear wax. Yeah, we got an entire video on just how to clear wax. We used Paint Pixie's wax brush as well as the Paint Pixie in the one and three quarters and one and a quarter inch. To, yeah. like do the whole piece. If you're gonna be putting wrapping paper on a piece, you're gonna want a brayer. It's what like rolls it out smooth, so we probably should put that in the link below too. Yeah, that we got that from Mod Podge on Amazon. So. Yeah, and we use the Wooster foam brush too, to like put it on there. So we'll put all the links below, but if you still have questions about this finish, comment below, we'll help you out. You definitely wanna catch those other two videos. We would love it if you share this video with your friends who love to do like vintage farmhouse textured finishes or just anybody who loves DIY. Be sure to click that notifications button so you never miss a video. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Raymond for more DIY.